This is the Dugati Triple Nine Ace, and I've owned it for the last nine months. And this is going to be a review on the bike. And because I've owned it for so long, I know all the small irritating things about this bike. So it's not just going to be, oh, it's so great. It's the good, and then the small things that just annoy me so much. But I think we should start with the exterior of the motorcycle. The exterior of the 909 was designed by a South African named Pierre de Blanche, and his design shocked the world. The 999 looked nothing like the 916, and people were torn on whether they liked it or hated it. Fast forward 15 odd years and the bike is a modern classic. Some people still dislike it, but the people that like it, really like it. And I am one of those. I think this bike is beautiful from every angle, except the stock tail light. It feels like the designer had the whole bike designed and was really glad and excited and he took the design to the boss man and the boss man was like, okay, and where's the rear light? And you need a place for the number plate too, you know? And then he just like quickly drew something and, and the result was this thing. So mine doesn't have that anymore. I've got a aftermarket tail light because the stock one really just doesn't look nice to me. But other than that, this bike, everything feels like it was part of the design. Even the swing arm, if you look on a normal bike, the swing arm is just like this piece of metal cut out. On the Dugatti, it's curved and it's nice. If you look at the, and if you look at the stand on the side of the bike, the stand is not just a stand, it's a work of art. It's cut, it's, it just looks really nice. Everything feels like it was designed to fit the bike perfectly. It's really a, a work of art in a sense. If you put it on a stand and you put it in your living room, you can use it as art, not just as a motorcycle. They are really beautiful. But that's enough on just how the bike looks, because looks aren't everything. The most important thing on a bike is how it rides. Is it really that good? And for that, we're going to have to cut to me on the motorcycle, and then, we, yes. <laughs> Okay, so we're officially on the bike, let me just get through here. Yeah? First thing you notice when you're on this bike, and you've ridden many bikes before, is this bike has a lot of torque. And I mean like a lot of torque. You don't, you don't search for torque, you can be on like almost zero RPM, and she goes. Like when you're on a CBR 600 or even a 1000cc other bike, there is a power band. This bike doesn't feel like it has a power band. Everything is power band. If you open it, she goes. She just opens up and you've got instant power. So it's just always there. I'm sorry, the mic is really at a crap place. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad. I'm not trying to be annoying, but the mic is moving around in the helmet. So yeah, the bike isn't bad at all, it's got a lot of torque, but like in a straight line, if you put it against something like a CBR 1000 or a ZX10 or anything like that, the other 1000 seasons will beat this bike in a straight line. Because this thing doesn't make a ton of horsepower. It makes a lot of torque, but like power-wise, it's not much more than a 600 to give you. The engine light just there because I've got a wiring problem. So don't worry about that. The engine is fine. But yeah, like I said, so in a straight line, this thing isn't even really in the same league as other 1000cc bikes, unfortunately. So it's not, it's not bad, but like, like I said, a CBR 1000 or whatever would definitely, 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 definitely be this in a straight line. In the corners, these bikes aren't bad. They won the SPK series like four or five times. They're really not bad. So they aren't slow at all. They are really fast, but they're not like your traditional 1000cc. So, like I said, just as a riding bike on the road. Like, the nice thing is, because you've always got the power, you can be at very low RPM, and she'll still ride very nice. Like, with no issues and shit. The thing will just ride like a bike should ride. 
they're like on a 600 then let's say you want to overtake somebody you've got to go down a few gears this thing you can almost just stay like i'm on 3000 rpm now that's nothing for like if i open it it just like goes it, 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 it doesn't care it just goes obviously it's got more power higher in the rpm but any bike should well would have more power it's just the way this thing delivers the torque is different Now these bikes are quite heavy, I'm not going to lie, and you can feel it's heavy, but it isn't a bad bike in the corners, so it's not like, when you're riding the bike you don't feel the weight as much, it's just like from a standstill and when you just want to move the bike around in the parking lot and stuff like that, you definitely do feel the weight. So as a just a riding bike in general, it's very good. The clutch isn't too hard for me. Maybe for some people it, it's harder than like a PFO 800 or something like that. But for a sports bike like a thousand cc, this is about what you would expect. So it's not too hard. It's actually quite rideable. Um, you've got nice power band riding. You've got an awesome sounding bike. This bike just it. It's got that Bugatti roar, it sounds amazing. And it backfires like if I do that. Then it backfires. Oh, it sounds so nice. But like with anything, it's got some problems. So you've got an awesomely nice Olin suspension. It's really nice. It's in the corners, it's great. But like just riding on the road, it's hard. It's really not soft. Especially if you're like me and you don't weigh a lot. Because I'm quite a light person. I only weigh... 70 kgs because I'm short I'm 170 tall I'm not a very tall person I'm what what it, I think five foot seven is what they call it in the feet system or what the American system so I'm short I'm really short so for me the suspension is quite hard and you can soften up a bit and mine is a bit softer but it's still very hard for me and the seat is hard well it's a hard bike it's not meant for everyday riding if that makes sense it's more a it's a track bike it's a race bike it's not something that i can really critique for having a hard suspension because it's not made for bumpy crappy roads it's made for nice smooth tracks but like if you're gonna ride it on the road it's something you should know is the fact that it is it's hard sorry put it in a neutral thing like yeah this is cockard and another thing you'll notice on this bike quite quickly is the fact that it's got heat shielding on the right side but not on the left side so this leg and i know you should be wearing a long a long pants when you ride and stuff but but you don't always like i was in a hurry and i wasn't going far i'm just like a few k's away from home and i'm not racing around not an excuse but i'm not wearing a long pants now sorry <coughs> But you break this leg and even when you're wearing long shorts if you push the bike and it gets hard it really does it, it burns your leg it literally like your leg gets red from the heat that comes off this side and then depending on how tall you are your knee my knee keeps bumping against the fairing there so like on that bump there it hit the fairing so over time it, you get like a small bruise on your knees like they are close to the throttle and it jams you back into the fearing again now this might not be a problem for everybody if you've got very long legs it might go past that but like with my length the whole time it's bumping against that and that's not like fun at all if i'm honest but everything else like as a bike if you if you look at the bike as a super bike not as a daily rider or whatever everything is amazing I mean the handling in the corners you've got torque to get yourself out of the corner because there's always torque Woo! I dragged it better <laughs> that was scary but like I said as a, as a road bike racing bike 10 out of 10 as a daily oh, I wouldn't call it a 10 out of 10 there's a lot of heat the exhaust is underneath your ass so you feel that heat coming on your legs and on your ass you've got the heat coming from the left side of the engine because the heat shielding is just on the right side you've got a cock hard seat really hard suspension there's a lot of bad things a lot of good things 
as a super bike it's amazing as a daily rider i wouldn't call it amazing <laughs> like there, there, there is a few good things the torque makes it nice on the road because you're not going to cruise at 10,000 rpm you're going to cruise at three and just to be able to do that makes it a good bike like a 600 cc won't do that and other thousand cc's will do it but it's not the same there they do have power bands so with them it's still like you'd rather be at the top part of the power band than being at the bottom like where i am now but let's let's go into five things that annoy me about the bike some of the things i'm just going to just repeat from what i already said and then five things i really love about the bike okay, so let's move into the segment of the things that really annoy me firstly like i said this your knee keeps bumping into this so when you ride it can get quite uncomfortable quite quickly next as you can see yes heat shielding so this isn't warm i can even touch it with my hand straight after riding this side is nothing so this just gives off a ton of heat and remember your legs right there so you feel this heat as you ride the whole time and the air that comes through here also pushes heat onto your leg so you've got th this leg here it's so hot. This thing on the stock lighting system, you've got the light here at the bottom and the big number plate here. Really looks just crap. I don't like it. I prefer the under the seat light. You get some really nice lights. This one I did myself. So this isn't something we bought. We we did this ourselves. We bought a piece of metal, bent it, put the light on it. So this is a custom one-off thing. As you can see, it's not a board thing. Next up for me personally, the seat is very hard. And it's, I think it's mostly because I'm light. So the suspension doesn't give much and then you just keep eating the seat on every bump. So your poop ball really gets sore. And then this space here, if you've got legs like mine, so I've got very thick thighs. Just because of Jimmy, big upper legs. I have to just throw it in there that my legs are big, you know. But this here really squeezes that inner leg. And because I'm short, I'm on my toes. So when I sit, this day really it just squeezes my leg and then the last thing and this is probably the biggest thing is Dugatti's design on that oil sump you see it's here at the bottom and if you pull the fairing you can see it it's it goes beneath the fairing I've broken this thing open more than once as you can see there look now we tried to fix it I'm gonna have to buy a new one look it's pushing well through there you see that and it's because it's so low when you go over high bumps and stuff sometimes it just touches and even if it's just a quick touch every time it makes the metal thinner and thinner and now it's leaking again so that's something i'm gonna have to fix it's not ideal but let's move into five things i love about the bike number one the torque you always have torque i've, I've said a lot that i've talked a lot about the torque of this bike but it makes it the, the riding experience is so much better because you've got power no matter where you are on the power band and you can be in sixth gear cruising at like 100 k's an hour just open it up and you'll actually climb you'll get some power where if you're on like that bike which is a cbr 600 you've always got a down gear you can't just ride the bike you've got to go down because you don't have the power to just accelerate forward this thing you've got brembo brakes and an olin suspension from factory so this thing stops properly good and you've got a really good racing suspension now it is the s that's why i've got the Odin's. the normal one doesn't have that but we're talking about the s so i'm gonna throw it in there next thing i really like about the bike is the dry clutch not everybody likes the sound it makes but the fact that you can see the clutch moving is just cool and if you get the aftermarket pressure plate with the aftermarket spring cap thingies it really looks awesome now i just have the cap here i still have the stock pressure plate and stuff that's something i still want to do but i'll throw in a picture of how nice that looks when you upgrade that or not upgrade it but change it yeah you know, i like it's just the design of the bike i mean everything feels like it has a reason a purpose a place if you look at anything on this bike the brake lever isn't just a straight piece of metal it's curved and bent if you look at the stand on this side it's designed if you put the bike on the thing and you put it there it's like it has to be it feels like it was thought about everything was thought about the mirrors on just like these stockies with the mirror on it's a whole design it's part of the bike everything is designed to be the way it is and then the last thing and probably the most the best thing about this bike is the sound the desma v twin sound to get this mic is something completely different the roar and the backfires and it's just it's a visceral experience you can feel the bike vibrate from the v twin it's like pop, 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 pop. it sounds awesome it's something different and it's really cool 
Okay, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is just my take on the 999S. This is how I feel about the bike. It's my personal bike. All the bad things and stuff, stuff that really annoy me. There's things I like about the bike. I think that I like about the bike. It's my bike, you know what I mean? So it's not like I'm trying to bash on the bike or even just overly build it up. Remember, it is my personal bike. Obviously, I do like the bike. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy it. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll check you guys in the next one. I've got car and bike videos. Go through it. Maybe there's something else you like. Uh, yeah, so check in the next one. Cheers, I.